What's up guys, welcome back once again to Did Reviews. Today I'm looking at an older CPU. I've done this previously with a 7700K and today I'm going to be looking at the 1700X AMD Ryzen, first gen Ryzen, um, to see how it's aged and if it is still good enough for gaming. Um, so basically I've already got the tests done from the previous video for the 5900X with the 3080 uh, and today I'm going to be basically using that same 3080 with a 1700X system, same amount of RAM, everything like that, um, to basically test it and see uh, how well it performs and how much uh, performance you're leaving on the table if you are upgrading uh, your GPU but not upgrading your CPU. Um, so let's get into the test results and we'll have a talk about it. Right, so we've got the test done and the uh, results are in. Um, quickly go over the spec of this test system. I've done 3080 on both systems, obviously I'm using results from the last test I did. Uh, so that system was with 59. 100x uh, and basically this is with the 1700x to see how well it performs both have 32 gigabyte of ddr4 uh, 3200 um so 3080 is using a 650 watt power supply from be quiet it's, it's obviously you wouldn't think it'd be enough for a 3080 but it is because it's obviously the rest of it's quite low powered uh, i've done the calculations and it seems fine and i've had no problems running it either uh, and then for cooling we've got the pure up 240 by be quiet with two of their um silent wing pro fans on it um to, to provide cooling and we've got a 500 gigabyte uh 970 from samsung uh, m.2 uh, so that's it um let's just talk about the uh performance so see how much performance there is difference between the two so on shadow of the tomb raider um we did 1080p and 1440p uh, 1080p we got an average of 199 and a minimum of 169 on the 1700x we got an average of 107 and a minimum minimum of 75 we'll talk about them at the end uh at 1440p on the 5900x we've got 160 average and a minimum of 122 and on the 1700x we got an average of 109 and a minimum of 74. Uh, going on to F1 2021, um, the reason we did Shadow of the Tomb Raider, um, because I did it before, and also because it is uh, CPU intensive, so it will really show out um, sort of the differences. Uh, then we went on to F1 2021, which isn't as uh, CPU uh, intensive, um, so it gives a sort of better broad understanding of the results. On the 5900X at 1080p, we got an average of 306 frames per second and a minimum of 248. On the 1700X, we got a average of 169 and a minimum of 140. Uh, 1440p uh, on the 5900X we got a average of 248 and a minimum of 205 and on the 1700X we got an average of 167 and a minimum of 131. Then we went on to some synthetic benchmarks just to give a more broad idea of the uh, results. Uh, on the 5900X on Unigen Superposition at uh, 1080p medium settings, uh, we got 31,757, and on the 1700X we got 16,818. At extreme settings, 1080p, we got 11,284 on the 5900X, and we got 10,813 on the 1700X. Then moving on to Time Spy, standard Time Spy, not Time Spy Extreme. Um, at 1080, we've got 27,005 on the 5900X, and on the 1700X, we've got 21,083. And then on 1414p, uh, we got 18,284 on the 5900X and 17,164 on the 1700X. Right, so let's quickly just. Uh talk about those um so as you can see there's a massive 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 difference between using a 5900x and a 1700x with a 3080 um so basically if you're looking to upgrade your cp uh, gpu and you're still running a 1700x you you really need to start looking at upgrading your cpu unless you're going for a lower end gpu i don't know something like a 3060 or below that kind of thing uh 4060 you still may be pushing it a little bit um I don't have the equipment to be able to test that, unfortunately, um, but you definitely need to start thinking about upgrading your CPU, which is unfortunately going to mean um, possibly a new motherboard uh, and obviously a new, a new CPU, um, depending on what motherboard you're running your 1700X on. I'm running it on a B350 Asus Prime. Um, if you're running uh, X370, you can put a, a new CPU in it, so you might want to think about going up to Ryzen 5000 or even Ryzen 3000 or something like that, just to step it up and, and uh, basically make the most out of your GPU upgrade. Uh, as you can see, with this, the 1080p is on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It was pretty much 
uh, yeah, almost half the performance. Uh, on the minimums, it was even worse. And then again on 1440p, um, massive, massive difference. Uh, on the 1700 actually, we're actually getting better average frames at 1440 than you was at 1080, which shows how much of a CPU bottleneck there is there. And Shadow of the Tomb actually shows you how much GPU bound you were. At 1080p, it was 0% GPU bound, so it was purely being held back by the CPU. And even at 1440, it was 5% GPU bound. So again, really, really held back. Uh, F1, which isn't as a CP, as CPU intensive. Again, the story is pretty much the same. It's not far off half the performance, 306 on average, um, compared to 169 on average on the 1700X. Absolute massive difference. And then 1440p, 248 to 167, you're losing a lot. Um, yeah, so, and your, your minimums are obviously down as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Quickly uh, talk about the Unigen uh, medium, uh, 1080p medium, 31,000 on 757 on the 5900X, and only 16,818. So you're losing, again, almost half of your performance by using the 1700X. Uh, and then Extreme, it came right down. It came right down. The gap was only, was less than 1,000, um, about uh, 400 points difference. So it wasn't as bad there. Uh, and then times by again 27,000 to 21,000, you're losing 6,000 points. That's a big, uh, that's a lot. And then again on the 1440, it came right down, and you're only losing nine, uh, a thousand, just over a thousand points on that one, but still uh, a hefty amount. Uh, so that's it, guys. I hope this, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you are running a 1700X, then uh, this will give you an idea of whether you need to look at upgrading your CPU if you want in a new GPU, specific, especially if you're getting 40 series GPUs or you're getting uh, 7000 Radeon series. You definitely need to look at your CPU. Um, so I definitely uh, recommend you, you you look at upgrading that. Um, because you are going to leave a lot of performance on the table, and it's performance you've paid for by buying your graphics card. Um, so if you're spending Say you're looking at a, a 48, he's spending £1,200 on a GPU only to lose potentially half of the performance, if not more, because well, obviously it's a faster graphics card on the 3080, then you really, really need to look at either lowering your graphics card or low, or both lowering your graphics card and upping your CPU at the same time um, to bring those gaps down or alleviate them altogether. Uh, so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this, um, just wanted to do this as I've done one before and it was actually proved to be quite a popular video, um, so I thought I'd do a new one on the 1700X as I managed to acquire one recently, uh, and yeah, and I managed to get a board off eBay for cheap, so I thought I'd do it. Um, so thanks for watching guys, uh, like I said I hope you enjoyed it, if you, if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, dislike if you didn't like it and please leave me any comments in the comment section below, I'll always be happy to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon, goodbye. <laughs>